Guten Morgen, everyone, and welcome to another baking video. When we talk about bread, we're talking about France. That's why I am here in Paris. I'm about to visit here in Paris Saint Boulangerie Bakeries, and I'm going to taste there the best baguette and the best croissant. And at the end of the video, you'll see which is the one that I like the most. Now walking through the beautiful streets of Paris, I head to a new bakery, Arthur Pâtisserie and Boulangerie. I've heard a lot about it, so I couldn't miss it. Bonjour. Bonjour. Je fais uh, un baguette et un croissant, s'il vous plaît. Okay, here I have the baguette and croissant. Let's go. And if we have a baguette, what else do we need? A really good French cheese. Roquefort. E brie. Okay, time to test the Arthur Patisserie baguette. I love it because it's so crunchy and crispy. Let's try it. I love this crust, it's so thin and crispy. And take a look at this crumb. It's super airy, super open crumb, and it's moist at the same time, super irregular. Oh, I really love this kind of baguette. They did a really good job here. Let's try it. So crispy. The crumb is so moist, but at the same time, it's so light, because that's what you're looking for in a baguette. It should be really crispy and thin, but the crumb is not the most important thing. The, the crispy is the most important thing. Ah, I really love this baguette. Mm. But I know that I could do this much better. I'm really liking this croissant. It's so airy, so light, and full of layers of lamination, full of butter. And I like the color also, which is a little bit brilliant too. So let's open this up. It's not that open crumb, but that's not the most important thing in a croissant. So let's taste it and see how it is. Let's do this. It's really tasty very soft and tender, it's moist, and it's so crispy. Let's see how this one turns out. I'm in Poland, one of the best bakeries in Paris, and of course, here are no baguettes, but what I can find here is a good croissant. Let's go. Poland became worldwide famous by sending freshly baked bread from Paris to New York in a Concorde airplane. And some of their favorite customers were Dali, Frank Sinatra, and Robert De Niro. Un croissant, s'il vous plaît. Oh, merci. Wow. Well, at first look, it looks like an Argentinian media luna, which is the Argentinian croissant version. But this is from Paris, so maybe they were the first ones to do this kind of shape. So it's really interesting, super light, super crispy, and I like the color too. What's that? Okay, let's try it. So take a look at the crumb. This incredibly open. I thought it was not going to be that open, but it's really, really open. And it's crispy on the outside, 
it smells like butter and it seems to be really really moist on the inside so let's give it a try mm -hmm. wow mm, i should go to someone there at the bar maybe he has a coffee a dip it it's coffee it's super buttery this croissant really light and really tasty soft and tender and crispy on the outside so let's see how it ends in the ranking Joel de Fifs, considered one of the best artisan bakers in Paris, finally opened his own bakery. So I couldn't miss this one. Un croissant, s'il vous plaît. Bien sûr. Oh, oh but this. Ah, they were almost closing, but I got one croissant. And with the Metro de Paris on my back, let's test the first croissant of Baptiste. The first that I noticed, it is super light. And check all these layers. These lamination layers full of butter. Wow, it's incredible. Let's try it. Production, a bread knife, s'il vous plaît. Oh, merci. Oh, voila. Take a look at this open crumb. It's amazing. It's almost air. Air de Paris. Mm, the best part of the video. Mm. It's so crispy at the outside and the inside, the crumb is so moist. Mm. And this flavor is butter, butter de France. Oh, incredible. So wait till the end of the video to see in which position ends Baptiste. And now it's time to visit Jolie Miche, a new bakery just opened in Paris. And step by step is taking control of the local bakery scene. Bonjour. Je vais un baguette et un croissant, s'il vous plaît. Une baguette et un croissant. De tradition. Une baguette tradition. Euh, monsieur. Merci. Et le croissant. Merci. Merci bien. So now I'm here sitting at the Chalimiche Boulangerie, about to taste this baguette, the tradition, and the croissant, and of course, good coffee. So let's go with the baguette first. As you can see, it has the five slashes that should have a baguette de tradition. It's crispy, crunchy, and light. So let's open it up and see the crumb. So as you can see, you don't get this open crumb maybe that you're used to because they're using this kind of flour, which is the farine de tradition flour for traditional baguette in France, which is almost whole wheat. So that's why you get this light brown color. And the crust is so thin and crispy and the crumb is so humid. It's incredible. I just need to try this. This baguette is incredible. I know that maybe the crumb, it's not the best crumb that you've seen, but it's super tasty. This kind of flour is, smells like all kind of cereals and the crust is so crispy and crunchy at the same time and so moist. Oh, it's incredible the taste of this baguette. But stay tuned and see in which position ends up this boulangerie. Time to test this croissant, which has zillion layers. Each one has one more layer. Ah, and it's so flavorful of butter. I can smell the French butter here. Let's open it up. So take a look at this crumb. It's not the most open one, but it, it smells at butter and it's so light and crispy at the same time. I love this kind of croissant. Let's try it. It's so moist so moist on the outside it's crispy and the butter ah it's a butter drink this oh i love this one no mm. oh, this croissant is incredible are you lost with all the sourdough bread recipes that you find on the internet would you like to learn all the tips and tricks to make your own sourdough bread at home then i have the solution i have designed the perfect masterclass of sourdough bread 
just made for you. By clicking the link on the description, you will learn how to make and take care of your sourdough starter, how to knead, shape, ferment, and bake your sourdough bread, how to use and read the baker's percentage, all the basic techniques to bake like a pro at home, and how to read and understand your dough. Don't miss out on it and click the link on the description right now. And now it's time to visit L'Essentiel, owned by the well-known baker and pastry chef Anthony Bosson. You have to wait in the line. Bonjour. Bonjour. Je fais un croissant et un baguette, s'il vous plaît. Tradition. Tradition. Oh. oh. Et le croissant. Et le croissant. Ok, merci. Merci. Oh. So here's the baguette of L'Essentiel, which is super light, super crispy and crunchy at the same time. But it calls my attention because there's only one slash, no five slashes. Let's open it up and taste it. Take a look at this open crumb, it's really incredible. I thought it wasn't going to be that open, but it's really open. So it's really, really moist, so time to try it. The crust is so thin and the crumb is so open, that's what you're looking for when you're looking for a good baguette, because you don't want that much crumb. You want more crispy, crispy for a sandwich. So wait till the end of the video to see in which position ends up this baguette. As usual, super light with lots of layers. And I like this color, it's golden brown. So let's open it up and check that crumb. Take a look at this crumb, this is open crumb. It looks really moist and it's crispy on the outside. And thin, so this is okay. So now I have to try it, the best part. Oh, and I need to try the cappuccino now. Mm. Oh la la, this croissant is incredible. It's really, really tasty and so delicate at the same time. I really love it. It's not that sweet, it's okay. And the crumb is really moist. So let's wait till the end of the video. The name French Bastards come from Australia. Julien, one of the bakers, used to work there as a baker before he came back to Paris. Here I am at the French Bastard Bakery, which is one of the coolest bakeries here in Paris. Let's check that baguette at croissant. Bonjour, je veux un croissant et un baguette de tradition, s'il vous plaît. So this is not a traditional, traditional baguette de tradition. So they are bastards and they do it the bastard way. Just one straight line, slash. But the color is okay, it's light, but it's okay, it's crispy. Whoa. Okay, so let's check it. Nice open crumb, it's really moist. It's a little bit yellowy at the same time. Maybe because of the kind of flour that they're using, but I really like this kind of crumb. And the crust is so thin and crispy, like it should be. So let's give it a try. So I'm really liking this baguette. The crumb is so soft and creamy, and the crust thin, crispy, and it reminds me a little bit of kind of cereal, but the flour that they're using, it's really, really tasty and really interesting at the same time. So let's wait till the end of the video to see how this ends up.
Oh, I'm really liking the color of this croissant, which is a little bit more darker than the other one. Amazed because of all the layers that it has. I think that it has more layers than the regular one. So take a look, it's so crispy at the same time. Let's try it. I really like this kind of crumb, which is super open crumb, full of air and the color and the smell, it smells super buttery. <laughs> There's a huge amount of butter inside this croissant and it's so crunchy on the outside. Oh, I need to try this one immediately. Viva la France! Oh, this is incredible. The, at the first bite you feel all the crispiness of the outside, but then you feel all the moisture inside and the butter. Ah, oh, it's incredible. Full of air, really tasty. Not that sweet, but this is a good one. But wait till the end of the video. And now it's time to visit La Parisienne, which was chosen in 2016 as the best bakery in Paris. Bonjour, je vais un baguette de tradition et un croissant, s'il vous plaît. Oh. Merci. Oh, merci. So, these two, we're going to taste them at a very known place here in Paris. Okay, I like this baguette. It has four slashes, not five like the traditional one, but it's so light and crispy at the same time, so let's try it. Okay, I thought the crumb was going to be more open crumb. It's okay. It's not the best crumb that I've seen, but it's moist, it's good. Then we have this crispy crust and thin crust. So I think it's the right place to try this baguette. Okay, the first thing that I felt as soon as I bite it was the crust, which is really thin and crispy, really, really crispy. This is the moistest crumb that I've tried today. So the taste is good, but you have to wait till the end of the video to see which is the best. And of course, a good Roquefort cheese in the best place of Paris. Oh. <laughs> okay, time to try this croissant, which is a little bit smaller than the other ones, but it's super light again, crispy, so time to test it. Okay, this one has a nice open crumb, although it's a little bit smashed because I had it on my backpack till I came to the Trifel. The crumb is beautiful. It's open crumb too, full of air, super light, and it smells like butter. Let's try this one. It's really tasty. I thought it was going to be a little bit more crispy, but it's okay, and in this place, it's a perfect croissant. So. Stay till the end of the video to know what happens with this croissant. And now we're going to see which one is the best baguette. And it was really hard to make this baguette ranking because all the bread was so good. And on the last place, the baguette of La Parisienne, which I really expected a little bit more since it was the winner in 2016. In fourth place we have the baguette of L'Essentiel, which was really good. Nice and crispy crust and a beautiful open crumb. And on the third place we have the baguette of the French Bastard, which doesn't look like a traditional baguette from France, 
but the crust was so thin and crispy and the crumb was so moist and airy. And in second place we have the baguette of Jalimish, which maybe wasn't the best one on the outside, but in the inside was really incredible, trust me, it was beautiful. In first place we have Arto, Patisserie and Boulangerie. What I loved of this baguette was the golden and crispy crust. It was so thin and crispy and the open crumb was so moist and creamy. And now we're going to see which is the best croissant. And on the last place we have the croissant of La Parisienne, which happened the same thing with the baguette. I think there was something missing on it. Number six, we have Arthur Croissant, which on the outside looks beautiful, but the crumb was a little bit dry and not too open. And on the fifth place, we have the Croissant of L'Essentiel, which was really huge, full of crispy layers and a beautiful open crumb. And on the fourth place we have the Baptiste croissant, which really looks like a traditional Parisian croissant. And what I found incredible was that open crumb. And on the third place we have the croissant of Poilin, which doesn't look too traditional, but it was so light and really, really tasty. On the second place we have the Jolie Miche Croissant with a ceiling layer of buttery and crispy goodness. Maybe it had not the best open crumb, but it was really, really tasty. And in the first place we have the Croissant of the French Bastards with that golden color and those crispy and crunchy layers. And that crazy and open crumb with that buttery taste was really incredible. You should try this one when in Paris. So this was my bakery ranking here at Paris. Let me see in your comments if I miss one or you want me to visit again another boulangerie. So you know it, share it, like it, and I'll see you on the next video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn more about sourdough bread and sourdough starter, I encourage you to check the link on the description. And remember, this masterclass was specially designed for you.